Hello everyone, uh, today I'm on a call for a uh, one, one barrel not working, uh, it's not freezing down, um, it's this, uh, this barrel right here, it's a, um, this is a two barrel, FBD two barrel, and um, this flavor right here is a uh, vitamin water flavor, uh, which usually uh, when we have the issue of it not freezing down, it's usually a, a issue where the, um, the the mixture of water to syrup ratio is off. And um, I just wanted to show you a couple of ways of um, uh, diagnosing that ish, if if that's the issue or not. Um, usually, what I start start off with is the um, the valve the valve right here this is the um, the mixing manifold um, the water comes through this side of the valve and the syrup comes through this side of the valve um, so water is on the left and the syrup is on your right there's uh, two adjusting screws here where you can uh, adjust the water um, the amount of water coming through the valve and the, the amount of syrup on this side uh, it's a slotted um, fitting uh, a slotted adjustment screw so just use a small uh, slotted screwdriver and you can adjust um, to the proper level this right here is the um, the dispense switch uh, you'll you'll turn turn this switch to the right to open it and then the water will come the uh, the mixture will come out through the sample tube this is called the sample tube so that mixture will come out here and, and into your cup and then at that point you can um, then take a reading a reading of the mixture with this refractometer uh, this refractometer reads the uh, sugar to water ratio and usually on um, sugared items uh, you would want to have between 13 and a half to 14 uh, as your target number on there uh, you just put a sample of the syrup uh, of the product on this uh, plate it flips plate flips up the glass uh, sight glass flips up and then you put your sample right there right on the the blue and then close the sample plate and then you take a reading from the scope and look through the scope and then you'll see the number um, that it's reading and that's your ratio and then you would go ahead and adjust um, accordingly when you adjust you wanna be sure you're only adjusting the syrup yeah, your water should already be adjusted for um, 10 ounces in 15 seconds so that's the uh, ratio that you would want for your water and once your water is set then you don't have to worry about adjusting that you just have to make your adjustments with the syrup either up or down um, increasing the, the syrup ratio is will be turned to your right decreasing it will be turned to your left uh, on this manifold you also have your um, transducers you have a, a co2 a carbonated uh, water transducer uh, or co2 transducer and then you have a um, syrup transducer um, and those connect up to the board they connect on top and then the lines run in a uh, harness to the to the board to the main board and um, that gives you your pressure readings um, so it'll let you know if you have low pressure or, or uh, too much pressure um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm I'm gonna um, adjust I've already adjusted the water um, ratio now I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the ratio for the um, syrup
Okay, I just took a sample um, from the sample tube. I'm going to go ahead and get my reading now. Okay, right now my reading is at 10, so I want to go up just a little bit. I want um, this this uh, vitamin water is a non is a sugar-free uh, item, so that needs to be around 11, around 11 uh, for a, a proper bricks. Uh, this is called taking the bricks. So I want to go up to 11, so I'm going to go up just a notch uh, on the right-hand side. Now I'm going to take another reading. Make sure your refractometer is um, cleaned off. Um, you do want to uh, always make sure this is clean, so you so it's not uh, giving you a bad a false reading. I'm still a little low, so I'm gonna uh, adjust some more. Okay, that setting is good. Now I'm at 11, so now what I want to do is I'm going to drain this barrel down because the mixture is not any good in there. And then I'll go ahead and let it fill back up and then uh, freeze it back down. Oh, excuse me. Give me one second. And then we're going we're gonna to go ahead and adjust that, that barrel down. Um, that barrel's already adjusted, so now I'm going to empty that barrel and then um, let it refill and then let it freeze down. And then you just take a bucket and empty the barrel out and then we'll start uh, start with a fresh barrel that's at the right uh, bricks level just want to show you in order to uh, drain these barrels down um, I'll show you how we get into the menu Starting from the beginning, you want to hit either arrow you can hit. I usually start by hitting the back arrow, and then you get to the service menu. And then you want to press the left side blank button. And then that takes you into the menu. And it starts with uh, machine settings. You can go in there and adjust settings and stuff like that. Uh, but we want to go to manual on and off because we're going to turn on the co2 for this barrel here so it'll push out the product uh, press select side one is th is this side here this would be considered side two um, just to let you know usually in certain stores you have a four barrel and you have a two barrel so while well, you usually on these you start your count from left to right so this would be one two three four five and six so 
it's six barrels but we're just working on this machine so this is side one and side two um, and then we're gonna move to side two on the screen then press select and you see the CO2 CO2 off we could turn the CO2 on by pressing select and then you can empty your barrel out Another thing is uh, also as I'm emptying this barrel out, I'm pulling the handle to the left and then uh, also I turn on the beater. I turn the beater on that way it pushes more of the product out as, as you're going so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take as long for the barrel to empty. Okay, once we got the uh, barrel fairly empty, that's emptied enough, um, I go ahead and I shut off my CO2, turn the CO2 off by hitting select. Now the CO2 is off, and then go ahead and purge out the rest of the CO2 so that there's no pressure built up in the uh, barrel. Then I'll stop my beater beater stop now and uh, and then I'll go ahead and I'll hit fill and allow this barrel to fill up and you can hear you can see it's it's filling now so I'm gonna let that fill up slightly and then I'm gonna dispense some out um, and take a reading just to be sure that that you're still at the that reading of 11 um, and that should be a, a good enough uh, level for uh, a sugar-free flavor like this uh, vitamin water. Okay, so my reading is at 11 coming out of the barrel, and that's where you want that. Right now, the barrel is going to go ahead and finish filling. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the beater so that it can uh, mix that CO2 up into the into the product good. good. And then from there, I'll go ahead and let it freeze down, and um, we'll see how it worked out. Okay, so that barrel is full. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the beater and then press stop, press off and then press run. And that's going to allow the barrel to go ahead and freeze. So 
<clears throat> just to monitor that I'll, I'm going to hit cancel up here on the screen so that I can go back to the service menu uh, and now we're back into manual I want to go back to my readouts press select on readouts go to barrel 2 press select now this is going into barrel 2 and it's letting me know the um, the beater percentage as as the product freezes that that beater percentage is gonna go down and uh, it's telling me the tank pressure which is good the syrup pressure which is good and my return temp and my inlet temp so right now I'm gonna keep an eye on my inlet temp uh, just to see what what um, temperature it gets down to to uh, freeze down the barrel right now as you can see it's 38 degrees and um, it's gonna go ahead and go through the cycle and then I'll see how it looks once it freezes down okay hopefully you can see that that's at uh, 19 degrees right now so I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, complete freezing down and we should be all set okay that barrel froze down completely um, as you can see this is the end product right here um, in the on these um, sugar-free flavors you really don't get like the the fluffiness um, that's what we call it basically it's like you know with these slurpees you can see like how it looks fluffy looking and um, these are like the all the sugar flavors that have that fluffy look to them but these sugar-free flavors they usually do not have like that fluffy look within the, the uh, barrel um, but when you get it out it does you can tell it, it is frozen down pretty good and with it being sugar free it really doesn't freeze in the same way that the sugar flavors freeze just to give you that that information because some customers think that since it's all slurpy that they're all supposed to look the same but these sugar free flavors I found really do not um, have that same that same look so uh, we should be all set here I'm gonna go ahead and button up and uh, close this one out uh, I appreciate you guys watching um, I look forward to doing more of these videos and getting into some more uh, service service repair videos for you and uh, thanks for all your support and uh, we should be all set here as you can see everything is uh, working properly now the um, the thing that was wrong with this was the bricks was off I had to adjust the uh, right side uh, from uh, 9 it was at about an 8 8 or 9 level I had to adjust it up to 11 and then uh, refreeze the barrel down so uh, the next time uh, you have a sugar-free flavor that you have to adjust the bricks on I hope this video helps you be able to do that thank you everybody stay blessed